Okay, we're going to cross out number three on our other paper, and we're going to look at the guided practice paper. We're going to do one example together, and then you're going to try three on your own. So this is the one that says writing inequalities at the top. Okay, so let's read it. Plant A is five centimeters tall and growing at a rate of three centimeters a month, or per month, each month. Plant B is four centimeters tall and growing at a rate of five centimeters a month. When will plant B exceed the height of plant A? Okay, so first what we need to do is we need to put our numbers and our variables on each side where they go. So we're comparing plant A and plant B. So plant A, plant A is going to be on one side and that has an extra letter in it. Plant B is going to be on the other side. So we need to find our keywords that tell us what goes on each side. So let's see, for plant A, it's five centimeters tall already. Okay, so that's the starting height. So that's the height that it's going to be and it doesn't change. That's the starting height. But then its growth, it's growing at a rate of three centimeters a month or per month, each month. Each month it's growing three centimeters. So it's growing, which means it's going to be increasing, not decreasing. If it was depleting or going down, that would be decreasing, minus. But this is growing three each month. Okay? Now, Plant B is four centimeters tall. That's the height that it is right now, okay? And it's growing at a rate of five centimeters per month, five centimeters a month, each month. So that five is gonna be the one with the X. So now I have what I need on each side and I'm just missing what sign it is, okay? And it says, when will plant B exceed the height of plant A? Now we need to know what that word means, this word exceed the height. We need to know, does that mean when will it be shorter than or when will it be taller than? Well, to exceed in something, to excel at something, that means to go above everyone else. That means to be bigger. So we're looking for when plant B will be larger than plant A. So we're looking for when B will be higher than or larger than or um, bigger than, more than plant A. Now this one's even easier because it already tells us that B needs to be larger than A. So we don't need to do our number trial because we know that B is going to be the larger one for our sign. We just need to think if it's going to be underlined or not. Can they be equal to? Can it be larger than or equal to? Or does it have to be taller? Well, it doesn't say when will plant B be the same size or larger than. It just says when will it be larger than? When will it exceed the height? So B has to be bigger. It can't be also equal. So that part's not going to be underlined. It's just going to be a sign where B is larger than A. B is larger than A. If you look at our keywords, the sign for higher than goes this way because plant B is on the other side here. If plant B was on this side, plant B is higher than, then we would use that sign, is higher than plant A. But the sign switched because plant B is the second one over here. So we have to really read the problem and see which one does it want to be bigger, and we face that bigger side toward it. So this says 5 plus 3x is less than, or plant A is less than, 4 plus 5x.